Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for Taqwa, the wearing of Allah. And Tha is for Thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Kha is for Khatem, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The security challenges facing the world today are both asymmetric and transborder in nature. It is obvious that the security challenges bedeviling Nigeria are humongous and they come in different forms from ritual killings, drug abuse, ethnic clashes, banditry, and a host of others. That is why the topic insecurity has taken a prominent place in our everyday discussion, in our media, and our conversations in families and offices. There seems to be a consensus that the methods that are adopted to tackle this menace are not efficacious, they are not sustainable, or they are not profitable. This is a, it is hope that if we adopt the Islamic practice here, there is going to be a headway. There's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Inshallah, this season we want to look at the bane of our society, insecurity and the Islamic panacea. Inshallah, today we want to talk of, about one of these topics, which is drug abuse, that is affects as it aids insecurity in our society. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. If you are just joining us, the program is Pathway to Jannah, and I have in the studio with me the Imam of Adangba Central Monks, Imam Abdurrahman Adangba, is here to discuss with us how substance abuse, drug abuse, aid in security. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Insecurity is a topical issue. And that is why we have taken one of it, which is substance abuse. We are trying to look at how it contributes to insecurity in our community. Mm -hmm. So when we say substance abuse or drug abuse, what does it cover? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa la udwana illa ala zalimeen. Wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah ila alihi la azim. When you say drug abuse, the name implies abuse. So, which means, until it is abused, drugs are beneficial. Mm -hmm. Am I making any sense? Yes. Marijuana, we will call wee wee. We call it wee wee, or other names we give it, India hem or whatever. The oil alone kills wound ailments. The liquid, when meshed and extracted, re returns power. At a very minute level, it is grown. It is a herb. God gave it its qualities and its powers to be sufficient for you when you have those ailments. You don't take cough syrup when you don't have cough. cough. I, I was with a doctor and he was telling me that uh, those cough syrups, they give them names, they have their jobs that they do. A spectorant will make you be able to cough. It's not curing cough. Mm. You can get that. Mm. So you need to be told the qualities mm. and the works of these drugs before you take them. Now, let's come into the abuse of drugs. Mm. All the drugs are gotten from herbs mm. that grows from the ground. Herf. And Muhammad, so Prophet Muhammad wasalam, told us that in number, huh? Verily, Allah, la rajalu shifa akum fima harama alikum will not give you something to rediscover yourself or regain your health, health from something that has been made prohibited or unlawful for you. So that at this alone says you are liable when you take it at the normal rate that will make you become healthier. But the same thing. That is not that is not prohibited to, for you could be prohibited later. An example is palm oil. Palm oil is for everyday use in our kitchens, isn't it? Yes. But uh, what do you call emu now? Palm wine. Palm wine is prohibited. 
They got palm oil from palm oil. What did they from do? The yes, it is from a palm. It is from palm oil. You see, the water coming from the roots of the tree, it's cut short before it gets into the boards mm. to form palm oil. It's cut short and it's taken mm. out, so they drink it raw. Mm. Allah does not want that, mm. so it is unlawful. Unlawful in two ways. One, it makes you become intoxicated. Two, it stops the reproduction of a beneficial thing in the tree, which is the palm oil. Dates, we eat it in Ramadan. Huh? But if you soak dates for three days and take the water after fermentation, you are in trouble. So why do you need to do that? Shair is like um, what do you call uh, Wheat. They call it shair, it's like the, the, the grains. But what do you need to ferment it? Why don't you eat it straight? Allah, the way Allah said you should eat it. So you have abused it in one way or the other. But let me tell you, drug abuse is not natural. It has some interior and exterior motivations. Interior is, it comes back to I want to create an avenue where I will become a ruler, a ruler, I'm not saying a leader, a ruler in some aspect of human existence mm. until I make some people go through a certain in abnormal training, abnormal behavior, abnormal situations. Then they will come out and I will look like their mm. uh, uh, savior. So it is then I will come. So those are the interior, uh, interior things. And those people do not know that at the end of the day, it's still coming back to them. What is the short-term effect of what they want? Cash. The, we want a, a, a woman to be engaged. A woman sits by the bus stop, by the vehicle bus stops, sells these such jeans to people, she goes home. She goes home laughing because she has made some money. But how many lives has she negatively affected? The driver and all those Trust in the vehicle. Me. So what if her sister is there? What if her daughter is there? She doesn't think about that. So drug abuse um, is a homemade thing. Homemade thing we created it. The exterior is neocolonization. Argument, sir. Yeah, countries where tramadol is being produced. Tramadol is a drug that should be prescribed. And it should be taken within the quantity, quantity that is prescribed. the prescription is. So some country produces that will make money from it. But the consumption is above what we needed here, and they go haywire. Mm. So the countries that are giving it to people in Africa never knew that if they do that, the surge of people leaving their homes to come to get uh, medication in their own countries will be more. And as, as such, it will still affect their economy. So this, those are the exterior things. Mm -hmm. It happens in countries too that are in the West. You see them on the road, yes, the developed countries. Even. But in our own case, we have one, one, one uh, 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 shortcoming. And that shortcoming is the mm -hmm. educative aspect of whatever we are taking. You understand? And how about regulation? Yes, because if we don't know what we take, we don't know how to regulate it. Mm. The naturopathy, those who involve in natural herbs and they, they cure people with it, what is bringing commotion or confusion in their job is that how do they get the quantity that you need to take? Mm. So this is where we are calling them, we are saying, oh, they are fetish or they are not even work. good, you don't yes, need to. Yes. But what they are giving is good. But the quantity and the measurement of what you are going to take is not known. Allah says it clearly in the Quran that you should not take alcohol. But there's nothing about smoking, there's nothing about... There are, there are. There's no direct No, 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 no. There, you see, there is always a blanket name for anything you want to do. When you say human beings, uh, is there a mention of man? Allah said, yeah, you are Nasu. Who? Mankind. So mankind is man, woman, young, old, 
stranger, visitor, homeowner, they are your nurse. If it, it has taken in a, a, an Igbo man, it has taken in an Englishman, it has taken in a Yoruba, it has taken all tribes. You understand? So here yeah, you are nurse. So when Allah was saying in chapter 2, verse 219, says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, yasalunaka anil khamri wal maysir. So khamri is anything intoxicating. What is intoxication? Intoxication is the derailment of the righteous thinking of your ability. And say the bed. So it takes you out. The only thing that can intoxicate you is fear. And the only fear is that of the day of Kiyama. Allah stated that. You see people uh, behaving intox uh, intoxicated, but they are not intoxicated. It is the fear of that day that makes them look like they are intoxicated. So that is the only time. Don't get yourself intoxicated. Imam, one of the imams now, Imam Adik Ziyadzi, he says, yes, I feel jununi man akal. I was somebody who has a correct brain, will not be walking on the road like a madman. Nobody will want that. So Allah says they will ask you about something in uh, about uh, khamur, intoxicants. So anything intoxicating is haram. You understand? Anything intoxicating is what? Is haram. Either he makes mention of uh, smoking, drinking, inhaling, or whatever. Then he said, Wal maysir. Something that looks real, but is not real. Somebody, something that looks, it will, it will make my way, it will pave my way to goodies, and is not real. That is gaming. So in gaming, there is betting. There is a casino. There is, there is a, a lot of things that they, they do, which is gaming. So the Holy Prophet Muhammad said, anywhere betting is involved, in the scheme of activities, that place will never know peace. You get it? Yeah. To never know peace. It's like it's, it's, it's like a sort of oppression. When you said a, a, a thousand people should come and drop 20,000, 20, and, and only one person will win, and okay, a thousand people dr dr dropped 20,000, 20, that's how much? That's about two billion. Yeah. Two billion. Yeah. And somebody now win 200 million. Take 200 million from 2 billion. Mm -hmm. You are taking only 10%, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, and somebody won. And everybody will think I am the person. That is mucker. Deceit. Mm -hmm. And anywhere there is a deceit, it is gaming. There will never be peace. Mm -hmm. So, and look, the federal government, the state government, the local government are into lottery. Mm -hmm. That is chilling by trick. And the titi, the think tank of the nation, I've not seen anything bad in that. They even involve people in gaming, like what you have on the screen now, where they bring people into a room and tell them to go, to go behave so abnormally, and abnormality is being uh, 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 celebrated. How do you, how, how will a sane society be doing such a thing? Like some people on the other side of the world, and you think we are going to get away with it, it's not possible. So the effect of drug taking uh, and the causes of drug taking are interior and exterior. So if we do not look at it critically, we will not know where we are coming from. The discussion has been on how drug substance aid insecurity. We are going to take a short break now. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The program is still part way to Jenna and I still have in the studio with me Imam Abdurrahman Adangba discussing how substance abuse, drug abuse, how it aids insecurity in our country. Imam, now you have talked about the prohibition of um, anything intoxicant. How does this um, intoxicant, how does it push people to actually perpetrate this act of insecurity yeah um thank you once again i want you to see it from this angle the angle of eating 
meal, your normal meal, and you are overfed, how does it affect you? You become, you have this uneasy thing in you. So the effects of drug is to let the brain lose its control. You want to take the brain out of the normal functioning into an abnormal functioning. Now, that time, the person will obey the last order. He will only remember the last order, and that is the way he will act. And the last order is always a negative thing. Go and kill. So, go and rob. Nobody wants to be seen where things are not normal. So, but when it is a, when is he is intoxicated, either through drug, either through normal. anything, he's not his normal self anymore. And as such, he could perpetrate any atrocities he deems fit. So after they get back to their senses, and you tell them you have done this way, me, no, 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 I cannot do that. Now you're not showing the picture or the video that these are what you did. He will be crying, but he will not be able to go back again because the time he wants to go back, he has been resupplied with these drugs. Hmm. He will take it again, and, will, and, the, and the vicious circle continues. Do you understand? Yeah. So when they want to kill, the person, I, I won't ask somebody who kills that. Why? How do you look when you want to kill a human being like you? He says they look like flies. That everybody will look like flies. That let me just take off all these flies and let them let me have my way. So it is after he, he has done it that he will now say, because I have some people that I rehabilitated from India here. Personally. You don't need they are, they are not mad. It is only that instinct of go and take it that will take out of them. And when you see them, at the end of the day, when they have abused this drug, you see they are not uh, uh, any way presentable again like normal human beings. Mm -hmm. Their teeth are, they are removed, their faces are shrunk, uh, shrunk they and they look older, they look, they look, they look unkept. Shit. They look unkept. Nothing means anything to them. Mm -hmm. So, and when you say you are, you are a rogue, doesn't even think about it. What does rogue mean? Rogue is a human being. To him, he's normal. He's normal. So this, that, uh, so those who want the insecurity, the interior and exterior influences now, will now come to no, no, uh, locate them and use them for the illicit thing. Those that are using them are normal. Mm -hmm. But really, they are not normal too. Because if they are normal, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't ask them to go and perpetrate authorities that would demean yeah the security of the society. So this is where we are coming from. So insecurity and drug are cynical. Because those in the bush, when you see them, you know they are not normal. They will either be smoking something or inhaling something or drinking something that will make them high. Imagine somebody going into the toilet and inhaling the ammonia coming from, from the inside the pit. pit. Imagine somebody that will get uh, a vo stick, put it in an handkerchief, put some light, and smoke the fume, fumes as it's coming out of it. Just to get high. High in what? High in abnormality. And what follows is commitment, co commit committing himself or herself to a bad life. I read a study on Viagra. It says, when you take Viagra, you become extra strong. What does it do? It it's enlarges your flow system, and your brain will be hyperactive, mm -hmm. and your body will be energized through hyperactivity. The side effects, mm -hmm. a vessel can burst. Mm -hmm. The side effect, your brain is not in the normal state. Mm -hmm. The side effect, your, your breath has increased by 16%. Mm -hmm. The side effect, you got a goat in a, in a horse. horse. So, you see, so these are the side effects that you are advised, in, under, you are advised to be normal. Hmm. So, who is fooling who? For the, for the, for the Somebody economic who, gains. For the economic gains. A short term thing. Hmm. So, on the long term effect, a lot of human lives are derailed. And at the end of the day, 
there is insecurity from single lives, and when there are many, Multiple. it becomes a communal thing. Is there something we are not <laughs> doing right as Muslims? Looking at the fact that we are seemingly the, the majority, is there something we are not doing right as, a, as, as an Huma? Very well. Very, very well. Islam says we are a nation. We are a nation. Are we a nation anymore? So this is what we are not doing right. Islam says, after being a nation, ta'muruna bil ma'roof, enjoying that which is right. What and hauna and il munkar, and prohibiting that which is wrong. Are we doing that anymore? So in the Asalatus, there is a type of uh, division where the alphas employed to come and teach in the Asalatu are subjected to what the executives tells them. Ex the executives don't know anything about alphaship. Mm. I mean scholarship. Mm. I want to say scholarship, not the Islamic and Islamic, Arabic, whatever. Yes. They don't know. And when you tell them, because it's not sweeting their purpose, they don't want to listen. Mm. So they tell you, we are the one who gives you the salary. Mm. So Even if the salary is stipend, that's Asalatu. Let's go into the mosque. Our uh, mosque used for what it is to be. No, we are no more doing that. We don't employ imams as workers and we pay them adequately. When I say adequately, not where you're paying an imam 15,000 naira for a month. So let me pray for you that your child that Those went to school, no, that went to school and obtained a certificate of BSc or MSc will be given 15,000 naira in his working place. You oh. say, no, my, my God forbid. Why are you doing it for that imam? Now you now tell the imam, go and work. If the imam leaves the mosque and go to work, who takes care of the mosque? He has abandoned his... He has abandoned the duty that belongs to us. As Muslims, we must engage imams fully. They have, they have the articles, they have everything that they can come and give us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, it's been Imam Abdurrahman Adangba discussing how substance abuse affects how it contributes to insecurity in our country. Inshallah, we are going to move to the other segments. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Previously, many Nigerians found it hard to believe that illicit drugs such as cocaine and heroin are trafficked in and out of the country. But NDLEA has made huge seizures and there is no basis for skepticism anymore. If anything, and the early activities since January 2021 have further reinforced the facts of Nigeria being an important hub in the global illicit drug network. And secondly, that our country is not only a transit pipeline, but also a market. Similarly, Nigerians cannot pretend not to know now that our young people are abusing illicit drugs because youths have an overt drug lifestyle. Youths of today promote the drug subculture themselves. It is common nowadays to hear them say they want to get high. It is there on the street, in songs, in chat rooms, in clubs, and in parties. Many youths crave alcohol and weed as soon as they run into any emotional situations. For parents who are adept at using social media, Snapchat offers graphic details of what our young people are doing with alcohol and psychotropic drugs. The empirical facts around us speak volumes about how young people are abusing dangerous substances. However, we may not have a grasp of the depth of this decadence until we begin to see statistics and other data. I will highlight a few facts from the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC World Reports, World Drug Report 2021 and 2022, and I quote, the first quotation here, it says, more young people are using drugs compared with previous generations. 
another quotation, young people continue to use more drugs than adults and have higher levels of use than in past generations. There is a 10% prevalence of cannabis use among 15 to 16 years old Africans. These facts and figures sum up the situation. But we must also be honest to admit that society is also partly to blame for the rise in drug abuse among our youths. The lecture was insightful and thought-provoking, which paved way for other eminent and erudite discussants to further expose the topic from different perspectives in a panel session. I have seen things in the past 15 years. And I got to NDLA, it was that Yo, this is a transit country, you just pass through. And I went to somewhere in Lagos Island. And I saw people already, junkies. I said, is this still passing through? Or some uh, have started dropping. Please, I want us, number one, to face the reality that drug is already here with us. And it's not something palatable at all. The policeman here, from his experience, will tell you that when you drug, deal with drug misusers, you will think you are plugging somebody, and you don't get the response of somebody who is being plugged. On the contrary, it's like you are plugging yourself, because you just get tired out because of the drugs. I went to my village and they said there's another they call Gegemu now. It costs nothing. You just go into the bush and cut this leaf and put it in water, allow it for some time and drink and you are high. So what effect it has on your kidney, on your liver, you don't care. So the first thing is, please push this awareness. People can never be tired so that you can look inward. And stop looking at the other house. Look into your house. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmikin, Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Nasahim, Idina Sirad al-Mustaqim, Sirad al-Lazina al-Yamta alayhim, Gair Magdubi alayhi wa laddali. Ameen. Till we meet, inshallah, same time, same station, Bikudrati Lai Ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Every second I live, every penny I give is just for you Every breath I breathe, every trace I leave is just for you